What is good? What is up? It's Jordan or Texans Thoughts, and I'm back with another Texans film breakdown. Today, we're going to be looking at Kenny Stills' 2019 tape with the Houston Texans, and I really want to preach just how underrated Stills is. He's sort of become the forgotten wide receiver in our core with how he brought in Cooks, Cobb, and still have Fuller as the top guy, but I think Stills deserves a lot more respect. There's nothing he can't do and has honestly been underutilized his entire career. I think he's super important to this team because we can't be super confident in Will Fuller's health, and Stills is like 85% of what Fuller brings, and I'll prove that to y'all with the film. The main thing is he's dependable. You have to be able to stay on the field to produce, and Kenny does that. He's a really good deep threat, his route running is super underrated, he's versatile, and got great hands as well. I'm a huge Killer Kenny fan, so if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on the video. Now, let's break down the film of Kenny Stills because the film don't lie. So arguably the biggest thing that Kenny Stills brings is his deep threat ability. We all know how Will Fuller's explosiveness changes this offense, and Kenny Stills has that same ability. Maybe not to the full extent of Fuller, but he's damn good at it. And there's no better play than this Saints touchdown to show that. He's just a dependable guy coming up in the clutch. When you need him the most, that's when Kenny Stills thrives. And yeah, he may not be a 4-3-4-2 blazer, but he's damn fast enough, and it's the subtleties in his route running that really helps him succeed in the deep game. You'll see that he's running a post route here, and he does a really good job to release outside. So he's threatening the leverage of the cornerback and making him think that he's going to break outside because the Texans in this situation, they do need to get to the sideline. They need to get out of bounds. And so the cornerback knows that and he's going to play outside first. But Kenny Stills is one step ahead. He wants him to go outside because he's trying to actually win inside. Once you get the cornerback's hips flipped in the opposite direction of where you actually want to go, boom, it's over. There's nothing that they can do, especially when you've got the speed of Kenny Stills. He makes that one cut inside. It doesn't even have to be super sharp, but he's got him beat. That's all that it takes, and the cornerback's never able to recover. He's just diving, grasping for something, trying to make a play, but he can't. I'm sure y'all remember this play as well, and it's just another great example of Stills pairing together his great speed and deceptive route running. He's running a post corner route here, and he does a really good job to sell the post route for multiple steps. Most wide receivers will just take one or two steps on the fake post route and then just cut it off to the corner really quickly. But he's so smart in how he does this to really trick the cornerback into thinking that he can cover Stills. You can see at this point when Stills makes his inside cut, he's looking back at the quarterback. He's looking at Deshaun. And that tells cornerback that, hey, he is running a post route. And maybe if I try and undercut this, I can make a play on the ball. But Stills is really just playing Jedi mind tricks with the corner. And he's actually running a corner route. So he bends it back to the outside. And, and this puts the corner in such an awful position because he was trying to undercut that post route. Now he's just so many steps behind that you ain't catching up to Stills on this one. There's just no way. And look at all the separation that he creates. Watson hits him with a beautiful throw on the run right on the money. And man, another clutch situation by Stills where he rises to the occasion. As you probably remember, the play before this Fuller dropped basically an identical throw. It was right into his hands and he dropped it. And that could have sucked the life out of the offense, but Stills stepped up to the table and made a big time play. Kenny's just a killer on these corners. Posts, post corners, corner posts. It really doesn't matter, man. His natural athletic gifts paired with his route running is just amazing to see. And I really love how long he runs vertical for before he makes that cut inside or outside. Look at this one here. He doesn't until the 30 yard line, and it's almost like he's lulling the defender to sleep before he makes that cut, trying to make him believe, yeah, I'm just running a go route here. And that puts you in that false sense of security, like you know what he's doing. And then at the last second, boom, I'm making my cut and i'm gone he creates so much space on this play if there was a better throw that let him out in front that would have been six i have no doubt about it 
Now, I'm not huge on stats, they can be misleading, but when the film backs it up and the player passes the eye test, then I'm able to believe those stats. And what's crazy is that Stills has an average yards per reception over his career of 15.7. That's damn good, and to put it into perspective, Will Fuller had a 14.3 yards per reception, and Cooks had exactly 14.3 as well. So Kenny's actually the best on the team in terms of that stat, and it really just goes to show how effective he is in the deep game. And what's even crazier is that he can get even better. Last year, he had 14 yards per reception, but as I'm showing y'all, there were a good amount of throws that Watson just barely missed him on. We know Watson's one of the best deep ball throwers in the league. I think it's between him and Russell Wilson as a 1A, 1B type of thing, but because Stills was traded so close to the beginning of the season, they didn't get a lot of practice time together, and they weren't able to fully click on all levels. And so much of the deep ball is knowing your receiver and the speed that they got. You got to throw a different deep ball for DeAndre Hopkins than you would for Will Fuller, and then you would for Kenny Stills as well. But over the offseason, we've seen Watson and Stills working out together almost every day from their Instagram stories, and I'm really confident that their chemistry is going to be on another level next year, and a lot more of these throws are going to be completed, because Kenny's doing his job. He's almost always open, and you can obviously trust in Deshaun to get better, to work, to put the work in, and perfect his craft. Now the next, and honestly the main thing that I love about Kenny Stills is his route running. And I'll be honest with y'all, throughout the season, I did not think that Kenny Stills was a great route runner. From what I could see on game days, which you can only really see the release and part of the routes, you can't see the full stem without the All-22 film, I honestly didn't think he was the best route runner. But the film don't lie and after watching the all 22 where i get to see the full route downfield and see the stem that's really where kenny stills wins breaking off routes snapping them so sharply off at the stem that's where he makes his money and my favorite route from kenny stills had to be this nasty just absolutely disgusting post curl route oh man it had to be one of the nastiest routes i've ever seen in my life and how he wins on this is just so beautiful so we've seen before when I was analyzing his deep threat ability that he's a killer on posts, on corners. And so he starts off running this post route and he sells it to the cornerback. Like he sells it a little lackadaisical, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like he's going 100%. And that's actually on purpose. It's not lazy route running. And so what he's trying to do here is he's trying to make the corner believe he's running a post route. That gets the cornerback more aggressive, flipping his hips inside. And then Stills is able to snap off the route at the stem, which is the top of the route. And he's able to sit down, drop his hips, turn around and create so much space. Look at all of that space that he creates from the cornerback. Opening up an easy throw for Deshaun. This is just an unstoppable route, man. If corners are going to watch the film and know that Kenny's a killer on these post routes, then they're going to have to play that with a little bit more inside leverage and try and get ready to break on that cut. But then if they're too aggressive, bam, he's got the counter right there. Now another amazing post curl came in the slot against the Panthers here and you're going to see just how smart Kenny Stills is as a wide receiver. Everyone talks about the Bill O'Brien offense, it's complicated, and I agree, I would love a simplified offense, but if Bill O'Brien's offense is run properly, its potential is ridiculous. And the reason for that is because they have option routes built onto every single route of a play. And what I mean by that can be easily seen on this post curl route here. So Kenny Stills, he's running the post. And at this point, once he gets over the middle, he has two choices. He can either continue running the post or drop it off short and turn it into a curl route like we saw in the last play. And his choice depends on this linebacker right here. If the linebacker doesn't get good depth here, then obviously you can just keep running that post and kill them over top. However, if the linebacker gets good enough depth, like he does on this play, then you can't keep running that post because if Deshaun throws that, that's an easy pit. And so like on this play, he turns the post into a post curl, cutting it off short and bringing in the catch. Deshaun also gives him a great throw away from the linebacker to make this even safer. And Kenny's deep threat ability with his route running, it really scares defenses. And you saw how linebackers look to take away the deep throw, but also cornerbacks too. And on this curl route, you can really tell how Kenny's deep threat ability scares the cornerback and it opens up things for him underneath. On this play, first of all, look at the cushion that the cornerback is giving him, respecting that deep speed 
And then in terms of what Kenny does, he does a great job to sell the go route. He's going full speed, like he's going vertical. And then at this point, when the cornerback flips his hips, then Kenny knows he's got him beat. He can just sit down on this route really quickly. Good timing on the throw by Watson, and that's money every single time. Another great aspect of Kenny Stills' route running is his ability to make off-script plays with a mobile quarterback like Deshaun Watson who's always looking to keep the play alive. You need your wide receivers to, to as well, and you can see that he just continually puts in the effort to get open, shake that cornerback, because he trusts in Watson to find him. And this is a super smart play by Stills. You saw there that he's pointing at Tyron Matthew because he knows the blitz is coming. And so he's going to be the hot read on this play. So he knows he needs to get open quickly. And he looks back for Deshaun to see if he's going to get him the ball really quickly. But there's a linebacker who knows he's the hot read and he rushes out to go get him and covers him well. So at this point, Kenny knows that Deshaun needs help and he can't just stand still here. So he works to get open across the middle of the field. Deshaun finds him and that's perfect. That's just such a perfect way to beat the blitz. And it's really just being like your quarterback's best friend. No knowing what they need and how to beat the defense that they're facing. Versatility is also a huge part of Still's game. You can line him up on the outside, ask him to run a speed out and win in the quick game, or you can run him in the slot and ask him to win over the middle as well. His ability to line up anywhere on the field allows us to be really versatile with the wide receivers that we put on the field. Cooks, Cobb, and Fuller, and him, that's four deep as of right now, and so the more you can do, the better. And it also makes us more unpredictable as an offense. Stills can even kill it in the red zone, where he torched the Titans for two touchdowns in this game, and without Hop, he's gonna have to take a step up in that role. Here he is doing his best hop impression on this back shoulder fade ball right here, which Deshaun Watson's really great at throwing. And if they can get this more down with the chemistry and the timing of it, that's going to be really, really tough to defend. You can also ask Kenny Stills to do some jet sweep stuff. Just handing him the ball, getting him in space, and letting him go to work. I think Brandon Cooks is really good at this, and I made a video on him which you can check out there. But you might not want him doing these handoffs with all the concussions that he has. Randall Cobb is another option to take on this role. He's really good at it, and I made a video on him as well, which you can check out. But Kenny Stills, man, he can just do anything you want out of him. And having that unpredictability in, and versatility in that offense is big time. I love Kenny Stills, man. And these jet sweeps can be important because of the motion check, but also because they're kind of an extension of the run game and an easy five to six yards every time. And I want to really quickly touch on Kenny Stills' strong hands. It's something that Will Fuller struggles with, but not Kenny, man. And especially in these catch and traffic situations where you have to make a tough catch, we can always depend on Kenny to bring it down. I love that about him. I mean, you can put all the work in to get open, but if, at the end of the day, if you can't catch the ball, then what does it matter? And so Kenny's been reliable his entire career. His career catch percentage is 60%, but if you ignore his time in Miami where he dealt with hot trash at quarterback and just look at his Saints and Texans numbers, his catch percentage is amazing at 72%. Now, no player is perfect, and if I had to say something negative about Kenny Stills, I guess it would be that he's a jack of all trades and a master of none. And so what I mean by that is, he can do literally anything you ask of him, but maybe just not at the upper echelon, like elite level. So he's a really good deep threat, but maybe he's not as elite as Brandon Cooks, Will Fuller. Um, he's also a very good route runner, but he's not going to be like a top guy like Keenan Allen, Odell Beckham Jr. You know what I mean? And then same thing, versatility. Like, yeah, you can line him up everywhere. You can hand him the ball off even, but he may not be the most electric guy with the ball in his hands. Hands too, like catch and traffic I talked about. No one's going to mistake his catch and traffic ability for DeAndre Hopkins. You know, he's not making highlight reel one-handed catches. And saying this is honestly very picky because it's great to have such a well-rounded wide receiver, but I guess it's just something that you could harp on, something negative to say, I guess, that he may not be like a 10 in, in one thing that he does, but he's like an 8.59 in like every single thing. And I guess one more thing could be that, you know, throughout his career, he's never really been a wide receiver one, whether it's with the Saints, the Dolphins, or the Texans. His production there, like, he never even eclipsed a thousand yards. He's really just never been asked to be wide receiver one, and, and that's fine because he plays his role as wide receiver two, three, really, really damn well, and he's one of those best wide receiver two and threes in the entire league, in my opinion. All right, that'll do it for my Kenny Stills film breakdown. We saw that he's such a complete wide receiver who can do anything asked of him and should really be taking on a bigger role in the offense in my opinion. He was open so much and could have produced at an even higher rate. I just love Kenny, man. And if we need to trade Fuller to go get Jamal Adams, although it would hurt, trust me, it would hurt. I love Will Fuller too. But having Kenny would really just lessen that blow. And honestly, getting Jamal Adams, that would make us Super Bowl contenders. 
But anyways, Kenny Stills, man, he's just that good, and don't forget about him. So if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on the video. If you're still listening, you're a real one, and I appreciate you. The question of the day is, do you think Kenny Stills has wide receiver one ability? I know we haven't seen it with the stats, but if he takes on that role for a team, do you think he would produce accordingly? Let me know. Also, I'm a part of Texans Unfiltered. We've got a great website where I write more Texans film breakdowns and also a weekly podcast on all your typical podcast platforms. So if you're itching for more Texans content, we got you. The links will be in the description. All right, this was Jordan or Texans Thoughts. Hope you enjoyed and come back for more videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Take care, everyone. And remember, the film don't lie.